Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back uh, from our quick break here. Remember, we have eight more matches today, so don't go anywhere. Uh, you just got a little bit of Gita Cam there, uh, which uh, I hope you've all enjoyed. It's, it's always fun to see people trying to put on a show. I know Hun Reloaded actually spelled Hun uh, in effects the other day. Uh, it was very, very nice. Uh, we are back. We have changed our guest lineup. Kill2, how are you today? Great. Did you enjoy uh, commenting on the first half of the tournament? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The matches are getting really good, and Darius is pretty comical. Yes, yes, indeed he is. <laughs> Brianna, welcome to the studio as well. Thank you. Are you excited about this uh, uh, second batch of matches we have? Yes, now? definitely. And as Kill2 said, the first few matches were absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen a lot of ships explode, expensive ships explode. So the second half should be really good as well. Yep, and uh, you are from Atlas Alliance. Mm -hmm. They have the last match of the day. Mm -hmm. That should be excited. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new dev guest, CCP4P. How are you hey, doing today? I'm good. Uh, you have uh, an interesting new job that we will be talking a little bit about afterwards. Uh, it involves some people running around and shooting each other. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, in, in a second, we need to go to Stevie SG, who has the new pair of commentators uh, for the second half of the tournament. Uh, let's go see what they have there. Yes, hello and welcome to the commentary booth. I am CCP Stevie SG, and I'm here with the commentators for the second half of, uh, of the second day, of the second day of day one, actually. And uh, who do I have? I have a veteran commentator, Verone. How are you doing, sir? I am wonderful. Good to be back in the commentary box. And I have Angel Han. How are you? I'm doing great. Have we enjoyed the matches so far this morning? Absolutely. Definitely. Good. Well, if you want to talk to these boys, I am your liaison, if you will. You can go to the forums at eveonline.com. There is a thread which says questions for the commentators. And if you want to send these guys a limerick or a poem or a question about the matches, you can, and I'll get it through to them. We also have Eve Online Facebook and Twitter, so you can keep in touch with us at all times during the tournament weekend. And we have a post your rig sort of thread, which means if you're watching the tournament on a big wide screen yeah. or you have a lot of friends around for a party, which I believe the Veto boys do, Yes, there's a big group of our guys in the States, so say hello, hello to all those guys out in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, they've all gathered around uh, to have some fun and watch a tournament, so hopefully they'll be having fun. Yeah, so post your pics if you are having people around or if you've got a really interesting setup to watch the tournament. We also have a PCU competition, which we ran last year, which was very popular, which uh, means you have to guess how many people we're going to have on the server on the Sunday the 20th of June. This is the PCU competition sponsored by NVIDIA, Bigfoot Networks and Eon Magazine, and this contest is open. All you've got to do is send an email to ccppcucomp with only the five-digit number you guess as the peak in the subject. So there's an example there. And it's only one entry per character, which will be checked. And the to closest two guesses without going over will win. And if there are more than two valid entries, then the earliest ones will win. Now, the winner, this has been updated since this morning because we have even more stuff to give away. Uh, the winner gets one NVIDIA GTX graphics card, which is really, really lovely. One Bigfoot Networks, kill, like, brilliant card. And issues 1 to 20 of Eon Magazine, which is a brilliant magazine. And then the second closest guest gets one NVIDIA graphics card, too. Verone, you've written for Eon Magazine quite a lot, haven't you? I have, yeah. Um, I'm a bit of a like a slave who lives in the ET, uh, the Eon dungeon kind of thing. I write for them a hell of a lot, and it's it's good fun. It's there's some, I mean the the magazine itself is like really glossy, high quality. Um, there's a lot of content in it. All of it obviously is irrelevant, um, and it's it's just really well put together. Okay, well, if you're up for winning that, then I suggest you get guessing. Um, we kind of smashed the PCU two weeks ago um, during our qualifiers, so we have no idea what it's going to be like tomorrow. But your guess is as good as mine. What are we thinking, Angel Han? I'm hoping for 75,000. That would be pretty cool. That would it? be amazing. That would be awesome. So you can join us on the forums. You can enter our competition. You can join us on IRC at coldfront.net. Um, we're in the eve-online channel, and there are people in there that are willing to talk about the tournament and any of the matches that we've had. Have we enjoyed the matches so far? Oh, there's been some awesome matches. There's been some really close calls because some of the teams are like really well matched, but it's, it's just been exactly what we expect from an awesome tournament final. As Brianna said, we did leave some very uh, expensive ships in the first half. For people who haven't been uh, tuning in, what, what's been going on? Uh, well, we've seen some excellent matches from the likes of Rolta Capella, uh, uh, CVA, and from Voltron, and especially from Circle of Two. Major surprise, though, Agony Empire coming out on top. Um, Absolutely. 
I, I props to them because th that's the first six ship setup that's won, and they didn't lose a ship. They did a fantastic job on the field. It was a really clever fl flying by them. Yeah, well, I think uh, with that we should probably hand it back to Soundwave and the guys in the studio. Over to you. Thanks, guys. Uh, remember all those uh, competitions Steve was talking about? Graphics card, networks card, uh, eons, all that stuff. And I will also exclusively on air tomorrow reveal the secret of the ice cube that hit the bottom. So if you are sitting at home like physics and you're wondering just how that happened, stay tuned until tomorrow. But before I reveal all those amazing secrets about science, let's go back to talking about spaceships. Perfect. Kill two. Uh, let me grab my favorite chip, the curse. Okay. We don't see people bring three of them to every match, but we see a lot of good teams bring one. Why do they bring the ship, like just one of them, to, to yeah? I mean, it's a really valuable ship against a lot of the setups we're seeing for multiple reasons. Like you always like to talk about, it's a dynamic ship. It does a lot of different things, which is why it's so good. But uh, primarily, I think it's playing that, that neutralization role, shutting down logistics ships, which is extremely important. It's really potent. Um, for tracking disruption too, which is really good, but I don't think that usually is the primary role it's playing. Usually it's there because of the neutralizers, it's, it's there because it breaks up tanks. And, um, and yeah, it, occasionally it's part of cap transfer or um, even bait, or, and it does have a little bit of damage, but I think that neutralization role is the, the big thing. Uh, Brianna, I mentioned before you're part of Atlas Alliance, who have the last match of, of today's uh, Alliance tournament. Uh, how closely, like when your team is fighting, how, how closely have you been monitoring them this tournament? Are you, are you following their team? Do you know who's playing, their tactics, all that stuff? Or have you just kept a little bit away from it? So um, when Atlas actually prepared their teams for the tournament, um, they've actually kept, uh, mm. kept it a secret from most of the, you know, the grunts of the alliance. Mm. So, but I do have access to a few people who are from my corp and who have very high skill points. Mm. Um, and they are actually invited to the tournament. Um, they have over 100 million skill points usually. And they are flying, they have this budget of some, you know, 60, 70 billion for the tournament itself. So um, I think so far they've been doing a good job and, you know, I wish them best of luck and hope to see them in the finals. Let's uh, go away from the tournament a little bit. Uh, CCP4P, you, you've been here uh, I think for most Alliance tournaments. And we've talked to you and you've done different things and we've talked about ships, uh, but you're doing something different and exciting now. What Could you tell the viewers a little bit what's, what's going on? Right, um, so I've shifted away from EVE and I'm working on Dust 514, mm -hmm. the new FPS game, if people don't know, the new FPS game that's being developed uh, in Shanghai. And that is, uh, so I'm responsible for the, the marketing of, of Dust mm -hmm. 514. That's my new role. So uh, you should actually be wearing the, the Dust514 dev shirt. I should, but it was dirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and for the people who haven't seen it, uh, it does look a little bit different, and we should probably be seeing one or two of them at FanFest next year. F uh, dev shirts? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> It'll be exciting. I actually do have one. Do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, they are pretty, and we have seen them, and we have like the, the, the different ones. There's a different one for the other project also. And yes. Uh, all the other exciting stuff we can't talk about. But yes. uh, that is what you're doing now, and um, we all look forward to it coming out, and I hope it's going to be a, a great addition to the EVE universe. What do you mean you hope? Well, I know. Yeah, it's I know. going mean, to be I, a I, great addition I, I trust to the you, EVE. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it will be pretty awesome. It will be pretty awesome. Are you still actively PvPing in EVE? Um, yes. So you are flying around, you, but you're like mostly a low sec kind of guy, right? Uh, I'm actually in 0.0. Oh. I don't really, well, I don't really want to fight people that don't want to fight me. I, I rather want to fight somebody who actually wants to fight. Okay, so you so are looking for good fights. You're not just like ganking innocent miners. If I have the opportunity, I will. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I look for good, good fights. Okay, okay. So there is a little bit of honor left in CCP at least. There is a lot of honor left in CCP. Yeah, there probably is. It's probably just me actually. Uh, yeah, it probably is just yeah. you. It's probably just me uh, viciously avoiding good fights. <laughs> Just going for yeah. the loot. Yeah. Yes, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually one of those people that fit salvagers on fleet and ships. Oh my god. Yeah, I, know, I know, I'm that guy. But, I mean, uh, aside from me being the terrible guy in the fleets, uh, we have a pretty strong schedule coming up here. Uh, Kill 2, what's going to be the fight of the night? Dang. It's hard to say. I'm really excited about uh, Dystopia, actually. In the past, <coughs> I've always thought 
Um, they were kind of, I, I think, I think T-Rex sort of has a tendency to think himself into trouble. Like uh, last year especially, kind of got a little too weird. Uh, but this year, he's gone the right direction with his weird and brought all those blaster Caldari ships last time. So now I'm excited. I'm hoping to see more out of the box type stuff. I mean, Pandemic Legion is probably going to be the most uh, important match in the second half in a way because I think they're tournament favorites. But, or not favorites, Hydra is the favorite. But they're uh, second place favorites. Oh, that's, that's uh, fighting words. Yeah, let's fight. P P PL are the second best team in the tournament. I think they're a strong favorite for second. Wow, that's harsh. Brianna, how about you? I think there's a lot of strong teams in the second half. Um, I'm going to root for Atlas, although, you know, like, there are a lot of, like, really good teams out there, like Dark Side, um, like, like, you know, like Kiltu said, you know, um, Dystopia and PL are really strong opponents, so that those two matches should be really good as well. I'm looking forward to those two, mm. see what they do. Do you agree with, uh, with Kill2 that Pandemic Legion are the second best team in the tournament? Well, they did win an alliance tournament, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they're very well known for using small gangs, small gang warfare in tranquility. I would say, you know, I'm not going to take sides or anything. They are pretty good mm -hmm. and made the best team win. That's a very like nice and, and diplomatic, yes. diplomatic answer yes. uh, for, for this. Second best team of the tournament. I, I don't know. I'm excited. I think that this is this has been an awesome tournament because it's one of the first ones, I think, in a while that's had several potential yeah. first place teams. We have like at least four teams. I wouldn't be shocked if Voltron no. won or if Pandemic Legion won or if that's that's what I was about to say. Also, I think there are three good three teams that are on like equal level that are like pretty much. I think equal is generous. Well, but they're close. They're they're close. Yes. There are three teams that could definitely win it this year. Uh, like, well, I mean, every team could obviously, but but there are three favorites, I'd say, and I think think Hydra and Voltron, um, and and the Pandemic Legion are definitely the three guys to beat. Yeah, I agree with you. And I, I hope I offend no one by saying that. I hope I offend a bunch of people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 4P, you've been with the Alliance Tournament pretty much since, yeah, as I said, we started. Uh, could you imagine that we had uh, the same thing for Dust when that comes out? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, I'm looking so forward to seeing the Alliance Tournament actually, you know, bring in the Dust players, mm. and, and uh, that's just going to add mm. so much more to this awesome tournament. So we'll have Kill2 talking about people making headshots and... and driving around in tanks and everything. Yeah, don't forget, we're gonna have the same alliances yeah. in Dust as we're gonna have, well, possibly, the same alliances in Dust as we're gonna have in EVE. Mm. So they're gonna be fighting for the same group of people. I don't know what you're allowed to answer, but can I make people do things in Dust from my spaceship? Uh, like, can I make them have an alliance tournament that I don't have to participate <laughs> in? Grunt, have an alliance <laughs> tournament on my behalf. Shoot each other in the head. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, I think you can get them to do as much as you can get people in Eve to do, right? Mm. So it's all okay. about the Which same, pretty much same, anything I same want. energy that's going on there that's going to be going on uh, and is going on in Eve. So same social interactions and such. Cool. Before I get in trouble, let's move on. Okay. Uh, we have the Wrong Alliance versus Majestic Empire coming up. Let's just get a quick uh, round uh, of guesses. Wrong Alliance. Mm, Majestic Empire. Oh my god. Uh, I guess the wrong alliance. I saw so one fight with them. They, they performed pretty well. They did really, really well. Uh, I think I'm going to put my money on the wrong alliance as well. Let's uh, see who takes it. 